Hey guys, I'm actually filming in my bathroom and I'm sorry my eyes are going back and forth to the camera, I'm making sure I have it in an okay spot. Um, it's not going to stay in the bathroom, so no worries if you don't like how the camera is. Um, I just came here because it has the best light at the moment because it's evening time and I'm going to do a mini haul, um, kind of a look of a day, look of the day I mean. And um, kind of, I'm good, just gonna show you guys this hair hair clip thing that I made that I think is really cute. But um, for the look of the day, this is gonna be in my mini haul. It's um, for, especially for hazel eyes. It's there's like a greenish, and then there's like a black in the crease. I think it's super pretty and I have my hair extensions in today and they're curled and they have a little poof and a little bit pinky cheeks a neutral orangey gloss on the lips and that's pretty much it I hope you like it but um, if you would like a tutorial on this look just let me know and I'll do it for you but now to my mini haul Okay, now for my mini haul. It's literally a tiny haul. I only have four things. Um, the first thing I picked up was another CoverGirl Volume Lash Blast Mascara. I went through like ten tubes of this stuff. I don't think I'll ever find a mascara I like more. And sorry if there's like lights on my face. I really can't tell. The blinds are like weird. I tried to fix them, but I'm sorry. <laughs> And this is the shadow that I created this look today. It is the Almay Intense Eye Color. I wanted to try them out because they're supposed to be like light, like interplaying technology. Okay, I probably said that horribly wrong. But um, yeah, it's supposed to be like this is specifically for hazel eyes. And they don't only have this one for hazel eyes. They have about three, three different editions of it. And... The colors with your eye color and the light are supposed to make your natural eye color stand out. But um, I really love this. It's got this really pretty green, which I will tell you is not that green. It's um, it's more of a black. I know it doesn't look it. It's this shade right here. It's more of a black with green flecks. Flicks. I don't know. Specs. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, it's really green colored Like when you have it on. But on your brush, it looks black, like completely. And, um, yeah, that's just a nice grayish black color. And they're really pigmented and really pretty. So, if you have hazel eyes or you just like this colors, I would definitely pick it up. It was only $5. It was on sale. It's definitely worth it. Um, and it also comes with a little, like, thing on the back telling you where to put it. Like, it's good if you're a beginner, you're just starting school. And you're just starting like middle school, high school, you're just starting to wear makeup. And you want to, this shows you where to put it. It's really easy. And you don't ha even have to worry about picking out the right colors or colors that might look good on you. Because you can just try these because they're supposed to um, make hazel eyes stand out. Well, the ones I have. Um, also, I seriously believe that anybody can wear any eyeshadow color they would like. So... Don't think I'm saying limit your eyeshadow choices to your eye color. No, definitely not saying that. I'm just saying if you want to make your natural eye color stand out. And this one, I got two. And this one is a really pretty brown, brownish, goldish, copperish color. And there's a really nice green with little gold in it. For some reason, this... All these colors together, they kind of remind me of, like, this is going to sound stupid, but like a garden goddess or like a garden fairy, you know? Yeah, I can't explain it, but it's just really bronzy and pretty and earthy. Yeah, I really love this. This one's supposed to be for green eyes, but I picked that one up as well. And this is my favorite thing, and I just dropped it. Um, I picked up... A brush set by Studio M for five dollars. Also, 
comes with four brushes, double-ended brushes. This is the, it's like a shadow brush, just like an angled fluffy shadow brush. I use it to put on my highlight color and to blend it with my crease color. And this brush is my favorite brush I have. I use it for the crease. It's like to make, like, to make things look smokier is what I use it for. Oh my god. And these brushes are good, like, nothing's falling out of them, and it's five dollars. It's really like eight brushes total. And then this is an eyeliner brush. So I haven't used this one yet, but this, they're both supposedly used for eyeliner, but I might use that for eyeshadow or something. But yeah, and they're again by Studio M, and they're the professional brushes. And... Yeah, this is not dirty. That green stained my brush because it was white. But this is just a, I don't know, like a regular eyeshadow brush and a concealer brush. And I thought this was really cool. An eyebrow. Also, there's an eyebrow brush. I do use this for my brows now. I used to use the one in my little Wet n Wild brow palette, but. This is just easier because it has a longer handle. And it also comes with a smudger. Like a little rubbery smudger, you know, for the bottom of your eyeliner. So, yeah, again, the brand is Studio M Professional. They probably have a website. I'm not positive. I got these at my local Meyer is where I got all this stuff. But, um, yeah, I love those brushes. I can't wait to use them some more. I've only used them like twice now. But so far, they've done really, really, really good job. They're the best brushes I've had, and they were $5 for pretty much eight brushes. And, okay, I'm going to show you guys the hair clip that I made now. Um, it's really extravagant, but I really like that kind of things to put in my hair. Like, I'm kind of a... I like dramatic makeup, dramatic hair, and they, you shouldn't wear that together, people say, but I believe it's your own personal style and you can wear whatever you want. So if I want to have dramatic eyes and dramatic hair, I can do that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just made this with some gems and some feathers. I just cut a piece of paper, or not a piece of paper, but a piece of, like, Gosh, what was this? It's just fabric that I had left over, just black fabric. And I glued all this onto it. There's a big gem in the middle. And I'm going to go put this in my hair to show you how it looks, and I'll be right back.